So if I enable the lock here, it's gonna scale all the axis. So if I set this to something like 50, we're gonna add in another one of these. I'll rotate it again. So we're gonna make this one bigger. play here and see how that looks. This foreground element might actually bring a lot of drama to the scene, so I'm gonna keep it here. Something like that. Put it like that and maybe have it, have it lower to the ground. We don't necessarily have to cut off the horizon, but I do like that it kind of feels like a, a complete environment. Um, but we could have some open sky. I think maybe this area feels kind of wrong. I don't know why. My spidey sense is just telling me that we should move this cliff. So we're going to. <laughs> um, let's see how that looks. It's looking, it's looking huge as well. You can really tell this is a big environment. There's a lot of open space here for the whale to splash up, which is gonna be really cool. So let me go ahead and save this. And we're gonna make some adjustments to the light. This course is your shortcut to mastering a rock solid workflow. So get ready to explore the depths of fluid simulations and let's dive in and get started.